up, folks, and welcome to Kifrica TV. We're starting this episode off with a war. Don't change that dial. All right, folks. So we have total war with this war. We have all these ready to drink total wars. I have four of them in my midst right here actually squeezed a couple of them a little bit too hard it's all good we got rainbow candy flavor we got green apple we have grape and we have orange crush if you don't know what total war is i'll link some videos down in the description but this is a pre-workout from the brand redcon one now i've done a number of redcon one reviews on this channel enough that I don't have to really go into depth as to is this a really good pre-workout because yes, yes it is. That's the answers. I'm gonna pop on the screen right now the ingredients and the whole little label that's right here on this bottle. I'm gonna put it on the screen for you can so you can read it. But nevertheless, I use Total War depending on the flavor every single day when I go to the gym, and uh, these are just ready to drink. All you gotta do is open them up. Pop them in your mouth and you're ready to go by the time you get to the gym and it's and they're awesome. The difference between these and the scoopable powder is the fact that they have more caffeine. There's like one gradient difference. I, I want to say it's the black pepper extract, but it's 50 more milligrams of caffeine than the powder form. So the powder form, you get 350 milligrams. These ones have 400. So that's all the caffeine you need in a day, folks. So if you like this, and if you like this review, for one, click like on this video, because we need to get this video to 100 likes. But for two, I'm gonna put in the description box below, and in the first comment, the link so you can go to Redcon One's website, and you can purchase these, you can purchase the powder form of the pre-workout, when they have all these flavors as well. It'll last longer, save you some money. Um, also, this code right there on the screen right there that'll save you 20 percent every single time you order from redcon one and you know what they have deals on there all the time anyways i usually have like the little honey chrome extension on my uh google chrome when i'm on the website because there's times that you can like get buy one get one free and there's like 30 percent off and all these different coupon codes but i usually use honey anyways and get a better deal than just a 20 percent off sometimes but Sometimes that's the best you can do. But nevertheless, make sure you put Kiefer-ka referred you right before you place your order because it'll have a little box and that'll just help a brother out. But nevertheless, I'm gonna help you out and we're gonna find out which Total War flavor is the best. A Total War. <laughs> so let's do um, Orange Crush first. And if you have a favorite Total War flavor, already a favorite pre-workout whatever it is comment down below because i want to know because i'm always on the mission and trying to find the best pre-workout the best flavors so far i really like total war ghost is pretty good too but total war is my jam i'm only going to drink a drink of these because i'm not trying to go caffeine crazy today Ooh. <sighs> okay orange crush that's up there. You can really taste the orange, um, taste citrusy. Uh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Like individually, that's a 10 out of 10. Most of these, I swear, they're probably going to be like 9 out of 10, 10 out of 10. That's my guess. But that's perfect. That's perfect. Let's try the green apple. Ooh, you can really, mm, <laughs> I need another drink. You can really taste that apple and that crispness and that, that tart because it is green apple. That's good too. That's good too. That's that's right up there. That's, I mean, that's a 10. And that's, wow. This is going to be tough. I can tell already. So let's go to grape. Very distinct flavors. Orange, apple, grape. Things that, I mean, you really can't mess up unless you got to be trying real hard to mess this up. Got a grape. Okay, that's good. Okay, that's good, but it's not a perfect 10. If you like, like as soon as I open it up, 
it reminded me of like that smell of either grape soda or Dimetap. <laughs> if, you, if you're one of those people that like Dimetap or if you like grape soda, then this is this will be up your alley for sure. I'm only going to give this one a 9 out of 10, but it's still pretty good. It's not better than the first two, but it's still pretty good. The last flavor I got on top here is Rainbow Candy. Rainbow Candy. I don't know if this is like Fruit Stripes Gum Rainbow with the little zebra from back in the day or uh, psh, Everlasting Godstopper. I'm not sure what Rainbow Candy means, but I'll find out. Ooh, there's a lot going on there. It's good. It's really good. There, I mean, it's sweeter than I expected it to be. Like there's sweet and there's tart. I, I actually really like this. This is, I would, I would honestly give this one a 10 out of 10 as well, just on the flavor right now, present day. But I. Honestly, don't think it's going to be better, personally, um, than the Orange Crush or the Apple. So let's try the Orange Crush and Apple one more time and see which one is the winner of this Total War War. Mm, that Apple's good. That Apple's so good. Orange Crush, one more time. Ooh. But that orange crush. But that orange crush, I think just crushed things. I think it just crushed things. Yep. Absolutely. Absolutely. The winner of the Total War, war is Orange Crush. It was it was really close. Green Apple almost got it. Green Apple almost did it. But Orange Crush with the victory, folks. Once again, if you want to order these, comment or the I mean it's down in the comment section. It's the first thing I pinned it, but it's in the description. Um, click that link. Go on Redcon One's website. Use the link that's on the, or use the code that's on the screen right there. Save yourself 20% off every single time. Put my name in the reference box if you make any orders on Redcon One. It helps brother out so much. But I just really wanted to see which one of these is the best. And Orange Crush is the victor. Um, all of them are good though. All of them are really good. The ingredients are phenomenal. It'll give you a really good workout, a really good pump, um, and it's an enduring rush of energy with it too because there's two different kinds of caffeine one's like a more short burst and then there's a one that's um more long lasting so you're gonna have a sustained workout and you're going to get uh a good sweat on it, it it's just good stuff trust and believe this um i've used it for two years now um i hope you have an amazing day like and watch and just soak in the rest of this video because since we started it off with something that you would use in the gym in the main event we're gonna do something else that you could possibly use after a workout or eat after a workout so stay tuned till then peace sit lofi sit we'll be right back Water churning, tide turning, sun burning, wave crash, head bash, ride, glide, collide, hot flying, fish frying, eye crossing, cookie tossing, snaking, quaking, booty shaking, scrolling, controlling, rock and rolling, wave race 64, the first jet was sweating in your face, race for Nintendo 64, strap on that seahorse and ride.
Donkey Kong Jr. cereal is part of his complete breakfast. You can get four Superstar Baseball cards free in specially marked boxes of Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong Jr. and Cookie Crisp cereals. 33 cards in all. Oh, those little Keebler elves make uncommonly good cookies. Next, they do it magically in a hollow tree. To make these Keebler swirly juice takes ingenuity. Swirl in the chocolate! The elves swirl a river of real chocolate through delicious shortbread cookies. So there's a taste of chocolate in every bite of Swirly Q's. <laughs> Next. In the Keebler Hollow Tree. Where we make crackers and cookies uncommonly good. <sighs> now back to our show. Woo, what's up folks? Halftime here on Keep Forget TV. And, and I'm not sure if this video is going to show up on other formats like Instagram TV, IGTV, or Facebook. It just might. But if, if I'm talking to you on there, hello. But here we are on YouTube currently right now. And I'm going to tell you all my top five Captain Crunch cereals of all time. And please feel f free to disagree with me down below. But my number five, we're going to work our way from five all the way to one, is Captain Crunch, Peanut Butter Crunch, XL. It might be called 3XL. I'm not sure on that, but it's the peanut butter crunch when they're super, super large and in charge. Obviously, the box is right here, right next to my head. It's peanut buttery. It's huge. It's perfect because the old school peanut butter crunch is not the same anymore. I know y'all changed the recipe. I know you did, Quaker. But this one, you can't ignore how big those pieces are and how much peanut butter you get on each bite. Number five. <sighs> Number four. Cotton Candy Captain Crunch. Cotton Candy Captain Crunch is phenomenal. It tastes just like cotton candy, and when mixed with normal OG Captain Crunch, it's perfect. Those would be the perfect crunch berries. I think y'all should have done that in the first place. Just put those and replace them for the crunch berries, and it's just, it's just it's just an amazing thing. Cotton Candy Captain Crunch, number four. Number three, Strawberry Shortcake Captain Crunch. It only comes in bags, personally around here, and I live in Ohio, I've only seen it in the Maslin Walmart, actually on the shelves outside of Ollie's Bargain Outlet, but Strawberry Shortcake Captain Crunch is something that many people I don't even think have truly experienced, and let me tell you what, if you have, then you already know that it is phenomenal, and it tastes like something that you have never had before in your life, and you, and you should. You should have it every single day. If you like Captain Crunch, if you like strawberries, then that is that should be your number one cereal. But for me, it's number three. Number two! We're getting down to the nitty gritty, folks. And number two is one that's discontinued, and that hurts my heart to say, but I got like four boxes of it in my big cereal closet, and I'm so pumped about that. Sprinkle Donut Captain Crunch, don't you forget it. It's unlike any Captain Crunch that's out there currently. Little round sprinkle donut O's, and oh man, is it so good. It has to be my number two, though. It has to be number two, because number one is Blueberry Pancake. Captain Crunch. If you ever see it in the stores, folks, buy them all and then tell me about it because I'll buy them from you. They're just that good. They're just that good. If there was a box of that in my house, guess what? It would be empty because I would have already eaten it. They're so good that you just can't save them for later. That's how phenomenal they are. They're not, I don't know if they're discontinued, but they're not like a regular flavor. So if you ever see them, like I said, buy them. They're tasty. They're good. Comment below your favorite five Captain Crunch cereals of all time that you've actually tried. Don't be don't be giving me something from like 1989 and you weren't even born then you don't even remember what it tastes like. Your personal five best from your taste buds, comment down below and I'll talk to you soon. And if you're still here with me on Keep Good TV, make sure that you watch this main event because it's coming up and you don't want to miss it. He's a racing man, but more than bikes, what Danny likes is you never kill Ogg's pack. I'll keep him coming back for two scoops of plump juicy raisins in Kellogg's Raisin Bran. Brown as hard as he can, he leaves the pack, but he's thinking back to those two scoops and golden flakes of bran. He's turning back again for two scoops of plump juicy raisins in Kellogg's Raisin Bran. Part of this complete breakfast.
Trap jaw. Trap jaw, battle cat, and He-Man each sold separately, straight not included. That hook won't stop He-Man. In Trap Jaw, we use his vicious claw. Still no contest. In Trap Jaw, we use his wicked laser. Even a one-armed army can't stop He-Man and Battle Cat. You win this time, He-Man. Trap Jaw figure from the Masters of the Universe collection. He-Man and Battle Cat figures each sold separately. From Mattel. One little, two little, three little Cabbage Patch, four little, five little, six little Cabbage Patch, Cabbage Patch Kids, posable figures, each sold separately. The Cabbage Patch Kids Posable Figures, each sold separately from Panache Place. And now, for your entertainment pleasure, Lofi will dance for you. Dance, Lofi. Dance. Good boy. Woo! Welcome to the main event here on Key for Good TV. Thank you so much for sticking around. If you've got to this point, type in the word down in the comment section. Gooey, gooey gumdrops. Yeah, do it. Now, I went in the store and found this. I've heard good things. It's actually from a brand called Good Snacks. This is a lemon Good Snacks protein bar. Now this actually is dairy free. It's a plant-based protein bar. And it says um, you can consider it guilty pleasure without the guilt. So there is, let me show you the nutrition facts right here. 220 calories, nine grams of fat, 15 grams of protein, 29 carbs. So this is not for all y'all keto folks, but you can tell, it's already tell right now, it's super soft. It's super soft. And guess what? I also saw that there's a number of other flavors. So if this is good, we just might, this might be setting up, this little battle right here might be setting up the war. So let me know down below if you want to see me do more of these bars. But let's just, let's try it out. Let's, let's just try it out. Ooh, the lemon. Oh gosh. It's super, super lemony. Lemony? Lemony? One of those words. Here's what it looks like. Like I said, it's super soft. I don't know if this is supposed to be like lemon meringue pie, like a lemon square, but it's like incredibly soft. Like, look at this. It just pulls apart, got some food porn action going on here for you. But let me get the corner because that's where like all the icing is. Oh. Mm. Mm. Yo, I can, this is phenomenal. That is so freaking good. There's not a person on this earth that can tell me this is bad. If your taste buds don't like this, your taste buds should be disqualified from life. Like truly, I think anybody could eat this and love it. At least enjoy it. Like, this ain't your typical protein bar. Not at all. I don't even understand. That's phenomenally good. This is like uh, 27 million out of 10. Like, <laughs> it's, just, it's just super good. It's just super good. So, hmm, we might have to do a war with all the flavors because they do have a number of flavors. So comment down below if you want that. But thank you so much for watching this video. We're done. We're done. And, uh... What, we have like 30 episodes in? 29? 30 episodes? I don't even know what number one, but we're like almost 30, 30 episodes in on Keeper Good TV. That's that's phenomenal. 30 straight weeks of episodes. Like that's that's a big deal. That's so cool. Thank y'all for watching these videos. Uh make sure you join the Keeper Good Club down below. When you order off of serialking.org, my website where you can order cereal and Oreos, you can get 20% off your order every single time when you are a club member. Just look at me like Amazon Prime for cereal and snacks. Good stuff, like literally. And um, like and subscribe. Mm -hmm. Until the next one. Peace.